I'm Alison Prophet, editor of Diagnostics World, and I'm here at the Next Generation Diagnostics Summit. Yesterday, I got a chance to talk with Charles Matthews, and he told me a little bit about his vision for the diagnostics industry, sort of where our problems are and how we need to set our own standards in order to move forward. Charles, can you tell us a little bit about that? Good morning. There's been a lot of discussion about reimbursement in the industry, and, and I admit it's a challenge. It's my daily focus. But I also think that at the end of the day, diagnostics bring a lot of value to the table. So our issue really has been about articulating that value in a clear and succinct way. If you look at a lot of the leadership of our industry, they've really struggled to define what does good look like? What does clinical utility for a novel diagnostic test really need to be? And I think one of the challenges, and this is what I spoke about in my talk yesterday, is that there are so many different types of diagnostics. There's ones that are used for ruling in or ruling out particular conditions. There's therapy selection. There's monitoring tools. And I think each of those different types of diagnostics will require different evidence standards around, around it. It needs to be something more than what we had previously, which is if you and I own a CLIA lab and had a great idea, we could launch it tomorrow with very little evidence because the regulatory paradigm did not require us to do that. But now payers are asking for more and more evidence. And the concerning thing to me is they're looking at the pharma industry and saying, well, where's your big randomized controlled trial where you study these patients for 10 years? That's not going to work in the diagnostic industry. We don't have that of time and, or money <laughs> to do those type of studies. But what does good look like? This is where I think as an industry we need to get together to define a new evidence standard. An evidence standard that says for certain tests, maybe use in niche populations, there's still some evidence, but maybe it's not as much as something as large as exact sciences launching a CRC assay that will be used by millions of people across the country. So that's where I think the industry needs to head. Do, it, do a better job of defining our value and articulating the evidence required to support that value to get payers on board with diagnostics.